All right, guys, we're going to talk about how to make some basic pizza dough. Uh, it's great dough, really soft, really nice. Super hydrated for a high temp oven. Super hydrated means we're going to add a lot, a lot more water than the basic pizza dough because we're cooking in wood fire. So we like to have our dough a little bit more wet. What kind of hydration? 60% hydrated. 60% hydration. So we're going to have about 1,000 grams of flour. Correct. And 600 grams of water. So it's 60% water to 100% flour, more or less. Correct. I had 10 pounds of flour, I'm going to add six pounds of water. Uh, so and the hydration rate is really important because we're going to cook fast and we want our pizza to puff and rise and not burn. And get that beautiful cell structure in there, nice, light, and airy, right? Mm, absolutely. Great. So what kind of flour are we using? So we're using General Mills. Uh, it's a high gluten flour. Okay. Been using it for 24 years. Great. At the pizza school. Yeah, we don't want to make it complex, so we yep. make a great product with it. 100%. We're going to start off nice and easy. We're going to add our dries first. Okay, good. We're right. going to add our dries. And what kind of dries do we have? So we're going to start off with yeast so we can get some action. Great. We can use fresh yeast. You can use instant yeast. So we're only using um, about a tablespoon of about instant. a tablespoon of uh, yeast. Great. And Mix gonna, it in there. We'll add our sea salt next. Okay. Cool. And we'll stir that in. And now we're going to add our water. Fantastic. Now you can do it on a table. You can make a well. But you know what? We're going to make it really easy. We're just going to add our water. Give it a good little mix. We're going to put a little more flour in later on. It's totally fine. Add a little for now and get it going. Yep. We'll just add a little bit. Bring more. it all in. Really, really simple. So we're just getting a good mix here. Yeah, we want to hydrate get, all that flour. Getting the hydrated flour. It's working well. It's starting to come together. Yeah. Beautiful. It takes a little bit of time, but once she gets going, it'll all form. Mm-hmm. We'll start building that. Nice, strong gluten network. Great. And the gluten, by the way, guys, is the strength of the dough. Uh, the reason why you use a high gluten flour, it makes your dough stronger. It gives it that stretch. It gives it that rise. And, and it basically, you know, when you put the sauce on your, on your uh, dough, it doesn't go through. And that's the difference. I mean, you can use bread flour all purpose. They're more softer flours. So high gluten flour is definitely something you want to look for. And if you want to use an Italian double zero flour, which means it's milled a certain way and a little softer, you can use that too. But this is the basics. We're going to keep it really simple. And then we're going to make some dough. And here we go. Now, being that the flour has all come together with the water mm -hmm. and our salt and our yeast. Great. I'm going, going to, to start kneading the dough to form it. We're going to add a little bit of olive oil together. to it too. Absolutely. Great. How much olive oil are we going to add? You know, I would just add like a nice tablespoon of olive oil. For us, it makes it you a little more moist. Great. I'll give it a little there. drizzle in there, right? Just a little bit, you know, work it in there. Beautiful. And you want to add that after the dough gets wet, because when the dough is um, dry, the oil will bond to it. So your dough is a little moist. We add a little bit of oil, and we start Ooh. working it by hand. All right, great. Oh, yeah. Let's go. get a little flour on this table here. Then we're going to add our dough, and then we're going to just, you know, sprinkle a little bit so it doesn't stick on a nice wood table. Any kind of work table works, whether it's metal, whether it's wood, your kitchen table, outside, on your patio, doesn't make a difference. Just have some fun. There you go. Look at that. Oh, yeah, that's a nice little dough. So it's nice and sticky, so you can just coat your fingers with a little bit of flour, coat your dough as well, and then you're going to form it all down. And now what's really happening is here, by mixing the dough, we're going to create gluten. the gluten. All right, well, here's Caroline. She's going to show you what she does best. She's a good dough mixer. All right, this is what you do. What do you do? Um, you you kind of just push your palms into it. You push your palms into it? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And keep doing that until it's all kneaded. Mm. So you have to knead this, and you get a little flour as you're going, mm -hmm. keeping it nice and moist. A little, there you go. It's a very wet dough, you have to remember. So it's a little bit sticky, but you'll get used to it, you know? A little bit of flour. There you go. Here's a little bit extra flour, never hurts. And you have to really knead it for like five or six minutes. Yep. That's how the gluten is formed. So by stretching, the molecules start to bind and you form a gluten network. And that's really cool. That's what making bread's about. Uh, kneading it really well, or dough and making it really perfect. So you get a good workout too. Now you see the dough coming together, so that's really cool. The gluten is starting to form. 
It's starting to get a nice texture to it. It's getting a little bit smoother and getting a little bit more friendly. Not as sticky. Great, look at that. Are you flattening it out? You're folding it in? Again, we're going to do this in slow motion. Ready? Let's see it in slow motion, Caroline. Slow motion, all right. Okay. Push your hands in. Pull the dough over. Really simple. Bring it back and fold it some. There you go. You're folding it into itself. Yeah. All right? Now, a lot of people just fold it in half, and they flatten it out, and they fold it again and flatten it out. But I like to work my dough. I like to let it rise. It's a really nice piece of dough. Excellent. All right, look at that. Beautiful. So after four or five minutes, we're going to have a really, really nice dough. Push it in, fold it over, push it in, fold it over, push it in, and fold it over. Give it a fold. All right. How's that dough feeling now? Good. Let me see that dough. Look at that dough. That dough is feeling pretty nice, all right? So when your dough is, you know, it's still going to be a little bit sticky, which is totally fine. Yeah. You're going to fold it over a couple more times, flatten it out, you know, give it a little stretch. You can make it easy any way you like to do it, right? Very nice dough. There you go. All right. Nice. So now we got a nice dough ball. Great job, Caroline. Thank you so much for your help. Um, yeah. So we're going to let the dough rest just for a couple of minutes, guys, and then we're going to cut it up and make some dough balls. I like to let it rest just for a few minutes. It just does something really, really nice. And then we're going to cut it up and show you guys how to roll some small dough balls next.